Several weeks ago, we curators were asked, what is the next bear necessity? And the answer was easy because we had all already been discussing this amongst ourselves, and that is the need for more cub houses. You see, we only have one cub house, and that's at enclosure four. We really need more cub houses for the rest of the enclosures, and that's only gonna make it safer for bears and for curators. So in 2015, we began the process of basically doubling the enclosure space here at Appalachian Bear Rescue. And we certainly did so and are able to house twice the amount of bears in our enclosure space. However, once we started the process, we realized that there was an area that we were lacking in. So you can see this nursery pen in here, and it is great for housing little bears, younger bears, or injured um, bears as well that need a close supervision. However, our mission here is to care for bears under extremely min minimal human contact. And so that's why we developed the cub house down at Enclosure 4. We gave these younger small bears a place to go that's still safe for them while also minimizing human contact. So here we have our next level of care coming from the cub nursery, which is the cub house. Cubs will come here as soon as they're weaned from the bottle. As you can see inside the cub house, we have local artists come and, and volunteer their time to paint and illustrate what would, these cubs would see when they were exiting, exiting the den in the spring. So we want it to be as, as real um, lifelike as possible for these cubs. You can see here on this right further right, right wall that we have a guillotine style door. From this point, once cubs graduate from the cub house, they'll exit into an acclimation pen. Each of our new acclimation pens are so equipped to provide foods with this feeding mechanism. You see here this wheel that has trays in it. We can spin it 180 degrees, provide new food, take the pans out, wash them, spin it again. And they'll have a continuous supply of food coming in to them with, with, not without them seeing the transaction. We originally built the cub house for a very specific purpose, and that is to take in bear cubs that were flowing from the nursery that were just weaned to provide a, a setting for them um, that's safe and is temperature controlled. And we quickly realized, however, after a, a mass failure in 2015, that this cub house is also great for a number of bears um, of different ages, so that includes yearlings as well. And since we had that flood of bears come in, we quickly had to go back, reinforce the ceiling. We've added um, lake sand to the walls to help prevent climbing. We've added climbing shelves because we know that bears like to be up. They feel a lot more secure and safer. We've had an air conditioning unit put in to accommodate different times of the year that this building will be used. And we also have climbing um, platforms. When we curators talk about bears coming in a facility, it's kind of a joke amongst all all of us that every bear should go to enclosure four and the reason behind that is because enclosure four has a cub house now we've already discussed um, how a cub house is great for young and injured bears but what we haven't talked about is what all of us curators know and that's that a cub house is excellent at uh, release days and release times so we're able to utilize a cub house to further separate bears out at release day by trapping them in there and this just makes it so much more safer for the bears and for our wildlife officials that, that come in. So I just want to take this time to, to thank everyone and I really hope that you can contribute to this fund and, and we, we already know what the next bear necessity is and that's having cub houses at all enclosures. So thank you so much.